Today's topic has to do with centrioles. Centrioles are barrel-shaped structures that are essential for the formation of centrosomes, cilia, and flagella. Deregulation of centrosome numbers has long been proposed to contribute to microcellophy. Centrosomes are major microtubule organizing centers in animal cells, and they have important roles in organizing many cell processes, including cell division, transport, and the establishment of cell polarity. Centrosomes consist of a pair of centrioles. Centrioles have an additional role in animal cells in that they also organize cilia, which is found in most human cells and have an important but poorly understood role in development. Abnormalities in centrosomes and cilia have been linked to many human diseases, such as microcellophy. Microcellophy is a type of cellophic disorder that is partially due to centrosome defects and impaired cell division. Babies born with microcellophy have a smaller than normal head that will fail to grow as they progress through infancy. This is due to a chromosomal disorder. Depending on the case of microcellophy, it has severe symptoms. Children with microcellophy may suffer from mental retardation, delayed motor functions and speech, facial detardations, dwarfism, hyperactivity, seizures, difficulty with coordination and balance, and other brain or neurological abnormalities. Microcellophy can sometimes be diagnosed before birth by a prenatal ultrasound. Along with noticing that the baby's head circumference is much smaller than normal, the doctor will perform a complete and physical examination and obtain a prenatal and birth history of the child. In the case of a later development of the disorder, the doctor may ask the parents about developmental milestones such as crawling and walking, since microcellophy is frequently accompanied by mental retardation. There is no treatment for microcellophy that it can return a child's head to its normal size or shape. Treatments focuses on ways to decrease the impact of associated deformalities and neurological disabilities. Children with microcellophy and developmental delays are usually evaluated by a pediatric neurologist and followed by a medical management team. Medications are often used to control seizures, hyperactivity, and neuromuscular symptoms. Since microcellophy is a lifelong condition that is not correctable, positive reinforcement will encourage the child to strengthen his or her self-esteem and promote as much independence as possible. The prognosis for children is mainly dealing with mild disability. Others, especially if they are other growing and developing normally, will have normal intelligence and continue to develop at regular age-appropriate milestones. In general, however, the life expectancy for children with microcellophy is reduced and it's less likely to for them to attain a normal intelligence. Who would have known that something so small could create a disease that people would have to live with forever?